welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to Barbie Hospital my name's Belle and today we're going to be making over all these amazing vintage 90s Barbie dolls I can't wait so let's get into it so the only doll you won't see in the makeover video or in the bathtub will be this doll twirling ballerina she's 1995 um, because I'm just going to sell her and she's in reasonable condition there's no point getting her undressed I've just taken her hair out, I'll give it a brush later, and she's pretty good to sell, like, in that condition. I also do not think that this doll really needs a bath. She looks really clean and almost in perfect condition. I'll just have to give, fix up her horrid elastic band hairstyle and she'll be good. I've also chosen to keep this doll out of the bath because she has her pink hat still fused to the head and I want to leave her that way. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to brush through her hair as well. So here we go. Let's get them all undressed and into the bath. All right, here are the girls in the bath. They're all getting a nice wash. So I'm noticing a few defects in some of them as I'm washing them. Not bad, nothing bad really. This girl's just got an old rubber band stuck in her hair. I'm going to have to brush that out. It should come out fine. Uh, and we also have, I think she's totally hair or something along those lines. Not totally hair, but hair superstar or something like that. And her hair's definitely had a haircut. I mean, that fringe is next level. You'll see what I mean when I fix her up, but we'll fix her the best we can. And now let's get a bit of detergent in for these girls to give them an actual nice clean and get them looking good. So I'm just gonna use a bit of body wash, saddle foam right up, sanitize them, clean their hair. This is my usual process, just get them nice and clean. For those who don't know, this is my favorite childhood Barbie who I recently scored in a giant box of Barbies that I took a bit of a gamble on and purchased through Marketplace. And it was more than worth it because as you can see, I've got this beautiful Hawaiian hair Barbie or hula hair Barbie. I can't remember the exact name of her right now, but yeah, she is so beautiful. Now just look at her colorful hair in the water. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. <laughs> so nice. All right, now, Let's fast forward to when they're out of the bath. Okay, all of the girls have had their bath. They've had their hair brushed. I just use this paddle brush and I've just boil washed these girls here. Everyone else's hair seemed to go in place. Okay, and I just don't know what I'm gonna do about this poor girl. By the way, look at her eyes. They have really cool paint. It's like almost got a sequin in the middle of her eyeball, which is super cool. This girl's so pretty. I think she's Tropical Splash Teresa. And here we have a look up close at all the others. So beautiful. This girl, um, this girl here and here, I think they're both Baywatch dolls, so I'll get them in their proper Baywatch clothing. Unfortunately, we've had a casualty. Uh, I just wasn't being careful when I brushed her hair, that's my fault. And this is what I've done with the short curly hair girl. Um, I've just brushed her hair, conditioned it, boil washed it, and then pinned it down with this loose elastic band. So I'm hoping it actually dries Marilyn Monroe-esque. Um, here's Tropical Splash um, with the twist top and half up, half down. There we go. Now we'll probably just let them all dry overnight and I'll see you all in the morning. Bye everyone. Okay everyone, it is the next day and we have finally fixed up all these dolls. Now we had to add Ken because I found this Baywatch outfit for him and you know, it just had to be modeled. Now we have all the other dolls. I've tried to dress them as best I can in what I think might be their original outfits or close to that era. 
I'll take you through individually each doll. And so there's our sacrificial Barbie. But overall, they've all turned out really lovely and they look awesome. Okay, so here we are. We've finished them, dressing them all. It only took me like four hours. <laughs> and we have some beautiful dolls. Now I'm going to have to do a fashion, like fashion organizing video of all my Barbie fashions for you all because I have so many and it's out of control. And I have so many great unique pieces that I feel really need to be sorted and stored properly because um, as you can see, some of these, see this dress here, you know, it had just been in a box for 20 years um, from the lady I got this set of dolls from. So all of these fashions, all of these fashions are also from that $150 box of Barbies that I bought. The box is actually $50 and the, bar, the postage was 100, 130 so I took that gamble, you know, and it definitely paid off because the fashions alone are just so valuable. Just so many cool, unique pieces. So here's a close up of all the dolls. We have this beautiful Teresa now. She's actually got a rose necklace and rose earrings. So I thought she was a bit of a princess. So I've dressed her in this convertible princess dress. So this bit actually comes off for a nice short dress. Ta-da! And there she is. So she can actually wear this short dress as well, which I think is really stylish and suits her beauty. So there she is. We have the other brunette doll, the only other brunette doll from <laughs> that box. Um, but I just love Teresa's or brown haired dolls. And she's actually got really pretty blue eyes as well. And she came in this riding outfit, so I was just assuming that this was, you know, her original outfit, though I don't know. So tell me if you can identify this doll. If you know whether this is her original outfit or not, please do comment below if you can identify any of these dolls. Uh, next, we had this girl who I've dressed in this really pretty, um, this must be quite a vintage 80s top or something but I really like it and I think it's turned out really nice. She's got some little blue shoes. Unfortunately, she's got chewed toes, but yeah, she's really pretty as well. We have this one. Now, I have to try and pinpoint who she is. I do recognize her. She has these really sparkly eyes, these cool earrings, see here. Uh, she's still got her ring in, yes. And yes, I've dressed her in this little jumpsuit and blue shoes, which I love. Then we have this girl. Now she is wearing a really, really stunning outfit. So this gown, I had to sort of try to uncrumple it. But if you can see, it's got this triangular pattern here. She goes down here and all the way up. She's got white earrings. Yeah. Then we have this girl. Now this hat is fused to her head. So if you can tell me who she is, please do comment below. Now I will have to do a fashion video. So make sure you like this video if you would be keen for me to upload that ASAP where I will go through all my Barbie fashions and sort them into piles and store them properly. Um, I don't know if this is that strawberry fields or strawberry, you know, the fruit um, series of dolls that came out, but I just thought that this outfit kind of suited her. So that's who I've dressed her as. She's very cute. Her hair came out really good, really healthy and straight. And her fringes, all these dolls had, um, were in excellent condition to begin with, but yeah, their fringes even stayed good, which I was really happy about. Now I've got this pretty flowers Barbie, I think she is. I think this is the right doll in the right dress, but I could be wrong. So please correct me if I am. 
And see, she's got these love heart earrings and necklace and this beautiful purple gown. Then we have this evening Barbie. Now this is probably one of my favorites. She's really, really stunning. She has this beautiful jewelry. Her, necklace, her choker necklace matches her earrings. I've dressed her in this gown. I think it's a pretty good fit. And uh, the other cool thing about her is that her hair has this undercut style. So I really like that about her. And I've done her hair up in this nice cool ponytail to sort of, so that it emphasizes, you know, her stuff. We have the Baywatch dolls, of course. So I've dressed them completely in their Baywatch outfits, uh, which I love. And I even found the Ken, this is the same Ken that was in the set. Um, that came in the box. So I've just dressed him in the Baywatch outfit. They've got their little wave runner. I think it's pretty much a complete set. They've both got their binoculars, their earrings in. She's missing her ring. But yeah, pretty much in good nick. Now we come to this twirling ballerina doll. So um, she didn't really need a makeover because she was pretty much in perfect condition. Um, so, and wearing her original outfit. So all I really need to do is just spin her around. And that was what she was sort of marketed as. I don't know if there's some other kind of apparatus she's meant to come with, but yeah, you pretty much just spin her around like that. She's fun. It's quite actually hard to get her to do. There you go. <laughs> so she is really cute. Doesn't really sit up. Uh, then we had this doll, who if you recall, I'll play the video now. So what I did was pin down her hair. And she does appear to have, I actually don't mind. I don't mind how it came out. I think, you know, it's quite cute. It's a lot better than it was. She could probably do a bit more work, but I'm happy with it. As far as just getting her to like a nicer condition. I dressed her in one of these matching outfits that I got in this box. So I think that's pretty cute. Now we have my favorite new doll, Hawaiian hair Barbie, hula hair Barbie. I always get that confused. But yeah, she's just beautiful and she's my childhood favorite doll, this exact model. I absolutely love her. She's got a complete outfit. She even has one of her little flower bands. Just stunning. Now another one of my, ooh, I nearly knocked all the dolls over. <laughs> another one of my like absolute favorite finds is this girl. So this is Tropical Splash Barbie. She's not. A really valuable doll but as you can see she's very very cute I love her platinum blonde hair I love her little bikini and she's got a seashell for a necklace which is just stunning so I think she's really cute and the cool thing about this doll is that I have her accessory one moment so this seahorse is marketed to be a tropical splash accessory, although she doesn't really sit on it that well. Um, but I suppose it could go in the bath with you, you know, and I don't really know what else it does. It does have these holes up here, so maybe it actually does something. Um, I'd have to look up the instructions of the doll. But yeah, it's just for her to ride around on, I suppose, and it's pretty cute. So I'm really happy to have this like full set and I just think it's absolutely adorable. So like this video if you love this set. Isn't it cute? And make sure you tell me down below who your favorite doll is as well. So the last doll we have who did not need any makeover because she's in absolutely perfect condition was this bubbling mermaid Barbie. I think she's 96 or 95. Um, but yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. 
she blows bubbles out her head. So you put her into the bubble mix like so. You dunk her in and then uh, you squirt her tail and she'll blow bubbles. And she's got cute little seahorse earrings. As you can see, beautiful purple makeup. She's got her full outfit still. Yeah, she's in absolute mint condition. Um, and her tail color changes with water, so that's really fun. She's still got all her original crimps in her hair. It doesn't look like she's really even been in the water. So yeah, she was absolutely no work at all. And that is all of the Barbies that I have done today. Well, in the past 24 hours, because <laughs> that took me forever. <laughs> so make sure you do let me know your favorite doll from this score. And I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe to join the doll tribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.